we are going to see the third point integration with dynamics 365 uh, here i'll show you the steps how to enable share point in dynamics 365 the use case is like whenever you whenever you you are uploading any document in dynamics 365 or the power, power platform then it should reflect in the share point if you are doing any modification or if you are deleting the document you are uploading a new document anything if you are doing in dynamics as well as share point it should happen in the both places it should be reflecting so for that first of all we, we have to do is first of all we have to create a site in the share point so that we can put that site in dynamics 65 to integrate to uh, to integrate both so for that come here on this pane and open the share point in the share point here you will see a button to create a site so just click there and here you can choose any site i'll just go for the communication site and here give a name test test 2 okay go next here you have option to add members as well if you have so many members then you can you can give them the access by clicking searching the name here i'll just go with the finish okay so now our site is created maybe later what you have to do is you have to just copy this url for the future purpose Control c and i'll just paste it here to another browser now uh, we have to put this url into dynamic 365 on this part platform just go to the advanced setting in the advanced setting we have a document management on the system tab here you can see document management so whenever you come for the first time when you have not enabled then here one option should come as configure sharepoint integration but right now it is not showing as i have already done the integration so in order to show how it looks like here you can see whenever you come for the first time here configure server based sharepoint integration option will be visible here so as soon as you click here it will ask you to put the url here so in this here you can give the same url whichever we have copied right now this test to website so you give the url and here one option will uh, here of finish button will come so just click on the finish button and that's all you have done the integration now you have to come again in, in this one document management and here you will not be able to see that option so for that what we have to do is we have to come to document management setting and once you come here uh, here you will see the different or uh, different entity like which entity you want to integrate with suppose if I'm, i am integrating with the account whenever i am uploading any document under the account it should reflect in sharepoint so just choose the account and here you can see i uh, have already it is showing one uh, url server side i have already uh, integrated so you just from here you copy this one and paste it here in this url control v go to next here uh, it is uh, this we do not have to do anything with this feature because this, it is another feature uh, whenever you want to create a folder based specific entity check, check box and entity folder will be created on sharepoint in the text okay this is not related to our thing so go just click on next document level are being created click ok and here you can see uh, the status is succeeded so whenever if there is uh, the whenever the url is not valid you will get a failure reason here showing that this is not valid so once this is already now it's already succeeded so just go to finish okay so now the integration part is done now we can check this we can check whenever if we are uploading any document another account suppose if i am creating an account let's see test test integration let's save paste it to the field find the contact save 
okay so now this is created now if you go under the document tab here document and suppose we are uploading any document like choose file and sales model feature uh, one more thing here the limit of the file should not exceed more than 50 MB and we have option of overwriting uh, override existing files it means uh, whenever you are uploading this file with the same name whether you are you are trying to give the existing it will just uh, rename it to a new version so here I've given yes if you give no then you'll not be able to upload the file with the same name click OK and if I upload one more file jpg file okay and just go for the save and close now if we come to the our site so hide it and we have to come to we have to go to site contents under the site contents go under the document sorry account and here you can see this test integration this is our account in this one you can see this this file as well as this bo both the files are uploaded here now here you have already uploaded this one test integration and now if I'm suppose I'm deleting this file uh, this one from here is deleted and if I'm uploading another file sonar cube okay and now let's come and check in the dynamics here in this account if I just go into the documents here you can see the previous jpg file is deleted and the sonar cube is already existing here now so it does in the real time whatever you delete or modify it will be reflecting in both the places one more thing is that if you want to create another folder in this one so you can create a different 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 folders like for debit card credit card or uh, if you have uh, other documents then you can just go for the new folder and uh, KYC document okay see you can see the folder here and now you can go inside the folder and here you can upload the files So same way you can create different different folders here and you can upload one of the uh, one of the drawback of this is that uh, this feature is that if you are trying to put some special characters in the name uh, like here the name is test integration now if you are putting a uh, small bracket middle bracket or star or modulus those things it doesn't support those characters special characters so you have to just uh, exclude it from the naming convention that's all uh, now if you come here here you can see the KYC documents as well as this one so now whenever you want to create another site so you just have to again come in the document management setting here and here you can give the new site you can come to you come to share point you can create so many sites three four five whatever you want and here you can just give those links here uh, test to or add anything and if you want to integrate with the configuration business unit appointment cases email anything you can just select it here and you can click on next and all the process remains same so that's all about this video